Hey guys, it's Pat Houston here giving you the best of what's around. Today I wanted to talk about the different styles of budget on your debt snowball seven steps. You will have to come up with a certain budget. Something that fits your lifestyle, something that works, and you're going to have to adjust it all the time, believe me. Um, after I'm coming up on month five of doing the Dave Ramsey snowball and the budget that I found that works for me is the no budget budget. Um, I have never been really organized in general. Um, so, you know, just the saving the thousand dollars was actually like kind of a feat for me. And, um, you know, planning things has been very difficult for me, especially me about to get married and being the leader of a house, you have to plan. My, a good a good friend of mine uh, back in the day, I know he got the quote from somebody, the name was Karee, shout out to my boy Karee. Um, he said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Um, I heard that when I was like 16 or 17 years old, and it didn't make any sense to me now, but it does resonate to me for some reason today. So what the no budget budget is, is basically paying everything you can. What I, what I do is it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of junky, it's kind of messy, and I realize I need a little help with it. What I do is I pay, I have certain bills that I have cornered. Like at the beginning of the month, I have my mortgage, it's about 600 something dollars, and I have my um, car payment, which is about $500. So that pretty much wipes out my check. I basically got about two or $300 left for everything else. If that, but um, you know, thank goodness my girlfriend's money comes in, and then she has pretty much a free paycheck, so we kind of alternate food and expenses and different stuff like that. So what I'll do, getting back, is on my off pay week check, the check that I don't pay my mortgage. What I'll do is I'll uh, that's the money that gets thrown towards the debt snowball. So usually I, I have a certain fixed amount that I want to aim towards a credit card. Like I usually aim to pay off whatever credit card that I used for that month. And I know, you know, if you listen to true Dave Ramsey fans, uh, having a credit card is possibly, you know, it's the devil pretty much. I can't even beat around the bush. It's the devil. So you don't want to do that. But I do it. You know, it's not because of the credit card points. It's just the fact that I like credit cards as a bit of a buffer, um, you know, to take care of those other debt snowball payments that you're not quite ready to deal with just yet. So, for instance, like I have a $3,000 ring that I'm paying off. That $3,000 ring, you know, usually gets deducted off of, you know, my Discover card. And yeah, whatever, there's points involved, but I don't really matter. Those don't really matter to me. What matters is the fact that I get the ring payment paid off. Um, the ring payment paid off plus 10 or $20 just to balance out the Discover card and, you know, avoid paying as much interest as possible. So the no budget budget to me is sort of like a hybrid of all the budgets. You know, yes, do I have money? Do I, do I not have money like in envelopes, like in an envelope based budget? No, but I have money in different bank accounts that are suited for different reasons. I have a, a bank account for um, <clears throat> something that I use for like, you know, the house, you know, just this, this house stuff that goes wrong. Um, I have a bank account suited for, um, you know, of course my emergency fund. I have my emergency fund and a very high yield interest checking account because I've, when I started realizing, which you'll start to realize is if you're a little bit handy and you work hard, you know, a lot of the emergencies that you'll have during this step are things that you if you just remove your emotions from it, you can fix. Um, previously, I already talked about me fixing a refrigerator and me fixing the roof. You know, those are things that, that those are things that could have cost, you know, upwards of $2,000 that I spent roughly $100 on. So just taking your emotions out of it and just having a little bit of know-how with your hands uh, really helps on a lot of different things, especially with my no-budget budget. So, and again, so that's the reason why my thousand dollars worth of emergency savings it's no more than three days away from me in a very high interest yield checking account that i still put very tiny amounts of money towards so that you know the interest will work for me you know like i said it's not exactly the dave step i mean it's not exactly what dave preaches by law but it works for me 
Um, so again, just to recap, I know I did a lot of rambling like I normally do. Just to recap, the no budget budget is a hybrid of all budgets in a way, but the money, it takes a lot of the paperwork and it takes a lot of the organization out, especially if you can open multiple bank accounts, which is, I mean, in my idea, it's just a good idea to have multiple bank accounts opened up um, for different things and to not still not spend money or touch your money in any way, shape, or form where you're just out during the day and stuff like that. And what will end up happening is during this no budget budget budget, you should have some random amount of money left over. Usually for me, it's between, I've been doing it for about three months now, but it's between maybe 50 and $250, depending on how well I've, you know, not gone out to eat or how well I've, you know, packed my lunch during the week. And what I'll do with that uh, money is I will I do something called the pre pre day dump. So on Thursdays, I will take that extra money that I have for my no budget budget and I'll throw it towards a credit card or I'll throw it towards a, 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 a bill that needs to be paid or car insurance or something like that. So anyway, that's one of those things that I do. Um, that's my budgeting style. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to work on. There's a lot of stuff that you got to do to get this whole thing dialed in the right way but that's just me right now and um yeah that's my video all right guys until next time live high live mighty live righteously take it easy